Hello, welcome back to the Go Engineer YouTube channel. I'm Jim Ward, a PDM technical support specialist. In today's video, I will be showing you how to create a folder notification in your workflow. Before we get started, make sure to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Why would you want to use a workflow folder notification? Primarily it's because you want to notify the appropriate people when they need to approve files. This can also be used to notify the originator of currently are in the approval process. Now how the notifications are sent out depends upon a setting in PDM admin tool. Here we are in the SOLIDWORKS PDM administration tool. I am signed in as somebody who can modify the workflow. I have selected a workflow, in this case CAD files. I want to create a notification when a file moves from work in progress over to pending approval because I want to notify the people who are going to be approving this file or files that they have some files that they need to take a look at. To put in this notification I will select the transition and then over here on the right you can see notifications. I will click on that. I will add a folder notification. There are conditional notifications. There is a separate article on how to do that one. So I won't cover that today. I'm just going to add a folder notification. You notice you can select a subfolder. Usually we select the root level of the vault so that no matter where the file is within the vault, the notification will go out. So I just tell it OK. And this brings up the folder notification dialog. These gray boxes cannot be changed, but all these were set because of which transition you selected. If you want, you can ch check one of these boxes that this notification only goes to the file creator or only to the person who last modified the file. In our case, we want to choose recipients. So we will add users and groups. It brings up all the groups that we have already defined in PDM. And we can choose one of these groups. In my case, I'm going to choose dot control because they're the ones who are going to be the, are the approvers. If you decide you want someone specific, you can come up here to all users and choose one of these people from here. It is best to use groups. That way you don't have to be changing your workflow if personnel changes and people move from one group to another. I'll tell this OK. And you see now there is the dot control group. Now we do have the option to create this as a dynamic selection. If you check this box, what happens is when you make the transition, you can decide who gets the notification. Case right now, we're going to leave this blank so you can see what it looks like. I will say that for testing purposes, if you're the one who creates the transition and makes that transition, PDM will not send you a notification. So be aware of that. PDM figures that if you created the transition or, or did the action, then you know you did it and you don't need to be notified that you did it. For those admins who are doing testing, you'll want to make the transition as one person and then look at the notification as a different person. So I will tell this OK and OK again. Now notice that when you create a, a notification on a transition, you get a little bell over here and that can, tells you that when you look at your entire workflow, which transitions have notifications attached. Now you do need to save the workflow. So I'm going to come up here and choose Save. Now before I had, I had mentioned that it depends upon a setting in your PDM admin tool as to how you receive that notification. That setting is here on Message System. If you go into the Message System, you can choose whether it's a database notification or via email or SMTP. Now, if you choose SMTP, do be aware then that your SMTP settings do need to be correct in order for the people to actually receive emails. The SMTP is set up to run with Microsoft Exchange or a local email system. If you have emails are over on the web, then you need to put in a, an email proxy. The email proxy means that you send an email locally and it gets sent out to the, the internet. But in our case, we're going to be using simply the database notifications. Let's check that notification and make sure that it's working. So notice that I am currently logged in as the admin user. And here is a file that is currently in the work in progress state. Right click the file and change its state, submit for review. I can add a notification comment and then change state. 
and it has now moved to pending approval. So in order to see the notification, I need to log in as one of the people who would receive the notification. So I will do that. Come down to the bottom right, select this. I want to make sure that I get completely out as the admin. So I will exit PDM. Now let me log in as someone who should be on the notification list. So you see I'm now logged in as Jim Ward. So when you receive a notification, they should show up. You should get a little banner down here. And then something should show up on your login. So there's that notification. That little uh, sound. Now if I click on the up arrow, you'll see the PDM icon has a little icon on it showing a little envelope. Click on that. It brings up the notification that I received. And you see the Solix PDM note documents have changed state. And there's uh, the file name. Uh, you can, there are some links as to what you can do to look at it. Following files have changed from WIP to pending approval. So the notification worked. You can close that. If you like, you can come down here and go to your inbox by clicking on this and choose inbox. And you see the different notifications here. What do dynamic notifications do? Well, let's check the box and find out. So I'm back in the PDM admin tool, edit this doc control notification. In this case, I don't have to select to, to edit the notification. I can, by the way, by selecting that and choose edit notification. But uh, I just need to check this box that says dynamic, tell it okay, and then save the workflow. Now that the workflow is saved, I can now go test. I am now back in my local vault view, and I am signed in again as the admin user. So I will now right click a file, come down, choose change state, submit for review. Now notice I have a listing of all the people that were in that group. Anybody that I select will get the notification. In this case, I'll just select one person, make a comment, select change state, and then the notification will get sent to him. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe. Please leave us a comment below if you have a topic you'd like us to cover in a future video. Visit our website, GoEngineer.com, for access to professional training, upcoming events, and more from your number one online technical resource. This has been Jim Ward with GoEngineer. Have a great day.